another part of the story of the mad mathematician. The mathematician was preparing to go home when he was visited by the Chamberlain, who was very excited. <laughs> His Majesty has decided that before you leave the palace, he wishes to arrange a farewell party in your honour. Oh, that's very good of the King, the mathematician replied. Oh, but I did rather hope that I could leave first thing tomorrow morning. No, so you shall, so you shall, said the Chamberlain. I will arrange for the party to take place this evening. It was a really great event. Everyone in the palace was invited and the meal was huge. To be honest, the mathematician ate and drank just a little too much. As he left to go to bed, the king said to him, oh, I'm so glad you've enjoyed the party. Uh, you've been quite animated this evening. As the mathematician climbed the spiral stairs for the last time, he kept repeating, You're quite animated this evening. Yes, I'm quite animated this evening. He was still <laughs> mumbling it to himself as he quite curled up in bed. After all the excitement and all that food, it was hardly surprising that his dreams were also somewhat animated.